Kevin McCarthy will not be voted in as Speaker of the House in 2023. Let me explain why. So as of 3.29 p.m. on January 5th, 2023, when I'm recording this video, there have been eight votes for the Speaker of, of the House, okay? So, and essentially the last, let's see here, uh, five votes. So this is votes four through eight have been exactly the same, okay? So what has happened in votes uh, four through eight? We have had, uh, we've got the uh, Democrat, we have Jeffries. Let's get rid of that. Uh, we have Jeffries. And he has gotten the support of every single Democrat. So there are 212 uh, Democrats, and actually all eight of the votes have been exactly the same result for, for Jeffries, okay? Every single time, all Democrats have voted for Jeffries, okay? So that's great. And then we have McCarthy, who is the uh, Republican. Let's do the underline here as well. And he has been consistently getting 201 votes. Now, on the first three votes, he got uh, one or two more. I think the most he's gotten is 203. And for one reason or another, I'm not really sure why, uh, his votes have gone down slightly. So he actually has gotten less than he did uh, previously. Okay, So he's down to uh, 201 votes, consistently votes uh, four through eight. And then where are the other votes? Uh, there are 434 members in total. Uh, so we've got uh, 201 there. Let's do maybe uh, we've got the other category which this has mostly been someone named uh, Byron Donalds for the most uh, recent votes uh, for four through eight. And he has gotten in the realm of about 20 votes, although I believe in the eighth vote, uh, Donald Trump got one vote uh, from Matt Gates. okay? And then we also have one more person who has been consistently voting present. Okay? And present just means uh, you just did not really place a vote at all. We've got one person who has been doing that, okay? Um, so that's actually 433 total votes. If you add up all of these, that's 433. So maybe we'll do that. Uh, so these three together is 433. If you divide that by two, 433 divided by two is 216. Wait just a minute. 212 plus 201 plus 20. Yes, 433 divided by two is equal to 216.5. So you actually need to have a majority, so you need 217 to win. Okay, and since no one has gotten 217 votes on any of those, not a very good set in there, uh, there has been no Speaker of the House, and then they just keep voting over and over again. They're like, oh, let's try again, let's try again, let's try again. It's kind of a joke. They just keep voting over and over again, and it's just the exact same result over and over again, and nothing changes. Um, so it's, it's just kind of ridiculous that they just keep doing this over and over again. Um, but... Um, Let's just think about some other possible scenarios. So first of all, one thing uh, that you're, you may be wondering is why are all of these people voting other, and why don't they just why why are they voting uh, why aren't they voting present perhaps because uh, the person who they're voting for, uh, Byron Donalds, has said that he does not even want to be the speaker, uh, but they're voting for him anyways, um, and it's it's kind of interesting that they're voting so why why don't they just vote present? Well, it turns out if they were to all vote present then there, the total would change. We would no longer be out of 433. We would be out of something less, and it could perhaps give the speakership to the Democrat Jeffries, and they don't want that because all these people are Republicans, okay? So uh, this is a theoretical situation. This could be a scenario. Let's just call this scenario A, and this could be Jeffries wins. That's what this scenario is about, okay? And how could that happen? Okay, well... We could have all the Democrats continue to vote for Jeffries. It seems like that is going to be the case. They do not seem to have any signs of budging. And we could just assume that maybe McCarthy, all of those people who end McCarthy, they are sticking as well. Uh, but let's just say some of those other votes, they, uh, they transfer over. So let's just say that we lose 10 of those votes. So 10 of the, uh, now we instead of 20, we have uh, 10 other votes. And the rest of the people are all just voting present. And that would be uh, 10 more, so we transfer 10 over, we'd actually be at 11 here. Okay, so now if that was the case, if you added up all of those, uh, let me make sure I get this right, 212 plus 201 plus 10, you would get 423. And if you divide that by two, divide by two, you would get 211.5 which means 212 to win, and we would have Jeffries would win, okay? 
So there we go. We got Jeffries as the winner. If we had 11 people vote present, 10 other, and the rest for McCarthy. Okay, so that's why they have to coalesce around someone, uh, all those defectors, because otherwise uh, otherwise they would give the speakership to Jeffries. Okay. Now, is there a, is there a path for McCarthy to win? Okay. Uh, perhaps he tries to convince those people. He offers uh, some of those people in in these groups to uh, something. He offers them something, and then they say, "Oh, I can't, I can't turn that down. So I must, uh, I must vote for McCarthy." Well, if it really is true, which I've heard, um, that there are six of those members, six of those members have come out, come out and said that they will not vote for McCarthy no matter what. Ken Buck earlier today told me that he believes there are six firm never McCarthy no votes, that despite what Kevin McCarthy does, he will never earn their vote. The if that truly is the case, then there is no way for McCarthy to win. So let me let me show you why. So if there are truly six people who would never vote for him, let's, let's get the best case scenario for McCarthy. This is scenario B. Uh, we could call this McCarthy. Mm, McCarthy. Let's just call it McCarthy pulls strings. He's gonna try to do some convincing. Okay. Okay. If that was the case, we would have uh, Jeffries. Still gonna get that 212 that he's been getting, and we're gonna have uh, McCarthy is pulled the strings, and he's gonna be getting all but six. So let's let's actually just go to the the other first. Uh, the other is going to be six. There's six people who are going to vote for someone else no matter what. And if you do the math here, that means that the remaining has to be 216, so that they add up to 234 or 434. Let me make sure that is the case. 216 plus 212 plus six is indeed 434. It's not 435 because someone uh, recently passed away in the house. Usually it's 435. So this adds up to 434. And again, divide by two. We did this earlier. Uh, this was the original situation. Uh, divide by two is equal to seven, 217. So you need 218 to win more than the majority, or more than half. Uh, so 218 to win, so we would have no winner. Okay, <laughs> so basically there's no good path for McCarthy. If this really is true, that there are six people who are not gonna vote for him no matter what, there's no way that M McCarthy can pull this off because um, the numbers just don't don't add up for him. They don't have enough. Uh, they don't have enough Republicans supporting him to uh, get him into the House. Okay, so what's going to happen? It seems unlikely that Jeffries is going to win. I don't know how. I can't really foresee a situation where he actually does uh, pull out up, up front. Uh, what is probably going to happen is they're going to have to eventually elect someone else. All the McCarthy people are going to have to decide to go with someone else because eventually, if this goes on long enough, uh, some of the clerks and other people who who work uh, there, I'm not, I don't think the House members themselves, I'm not really sure. I guess I don't know the details, but I've heard that a lot of people are gonna just basically just stop getting paid because Congress has to be in, in session. If they're not working, people will just not get paid. So eventually, uh, eventually something's gonna happen. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't, I'm not sure what's gonna happen. Probably someone else, I've heard Steve Scalise, I think that possibly is going to be put in instead of McCarthy. Justin Amash has said that he would he would be speaker. <laughs> I don't know if that, there's any uh, realistic uh, thought of that. He's not even in the house right now, but apparently you don't have to be in the house to be speaker. So who knows what's really gonna happen, but it's not looking good for McCarthy. And I, I hold that I do not believe McCarthy will be the Speaker of the House in 2023.